Hello Internet, it is Alex R on Fight Games, back one more time with another Tiny Tekken tutorial. And what we want to do today is we want to talk about some Asuka matchup notes. Particularly, this is specific things that happened in a set that a friend of mine played against an Asuka player. And I just want to help that friend tighten up these particular aspects of the Asuka matchup. This isn't a generalized anti-Asuka guide, it's just a few things that might help if you're fighting kind of an intermediate level Asuka. It's just important things to know. Uh, so let's get right into it. First off, a thing that many Askas do, and the particular Asuka uh, tends to do, this string, you gotta, you gotta understand the string here. This is down back one, two. Uh, let's go ahead and just show that. So that's down back one, two. It looks like that. The Asuka can delay it kind of a lot. And what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to hit confirm it. So let's uh, let's set them to just do it. This is that, right? Swallow vortex. It's down back one, two. You gotta duck the high. So you gotta see them doing it and then duck the high. And you can launch it. This is very reactable, right? What do you do? <laughs> so, but, but you duck the high, right? And then do your, do your combo. So that's it. That's down back one, two. Um, this is a really good string. It's, it's quite strong for the Asuka. They just have to hit confirm it because uh, it knocks down at wall splats and it's safe. Um, but it's not safe if you duck the high. Another thing that's not safe uh, that many Askas like to do is this string or this uh, attack right here, Demon Slayer, commonly called Tooth Fairy. This, you gotta launch this if you block it, right? Minus 18. So collect your launch, right? And you should be able to hop kick this at most ranges. Yeah. So that's crucial, right? Um, Asuka's like to do this move. Um, they get a huge combo if it hits. Uh, and it's it's hard to punish. I understand it's hard to punish. Um, because the block stun is so short, but it is minus 18, so you gotta launch it. Uh, or at least knock them down for doing it. I'm, I'm guilty of not always launching it myself. Um, yeah. So that's forward two. That's the, the Tooth Fairy or Demon Slayer. Uh, very important to punish them hard for doing that. They, they can cancel it, they can cancel it into a duck, uh, but that's slightly advanced. But if they if you block it, you gotta launch them for it. Uh, okay, next thing. Uh, this is the forward one situation for Asuka, and this bears a little bit of explanation. So Asuka can go into this. This is called Whiplash. This is her forward one string. She can also do it with forward, with one one. So if she does 1-1, one, one, then she goes into that, but it's exactly the same. So that's that's not bad, right? It's a mid. What's interesting about this, you gotta know this animation. It's like a mini stance. She has a bunch of different follow-ups she can do from this. She can do Whiplash 4, which gives her can-cans, just like that. And that's low high. And then she can do a mid. But, so you don't have to worry about any of that, right? Because the the can cans that's not going to launch you unless it counter hits. So you can just let her do that. Not too big of a deal. The problem here is she can snake edge out of this. This is reactable. You can see her doing this, but anytime she does this, she might snake edge, and then she can cancel the snake edge with down back. But you know, no, you're not going to get hit, right? You just have to be aware, like, there might be a snake edge there. So she might do something like 1-1, one, one, sorry, not like that. She might do 1-1, one, one, down 4, and that's going to be the snake edge. So let's let's practice blocking that for a second, right? So record, start recording. There you go. So we can react to that happening. Uh, and let's do the mid to show that we can... Well, here, let's first, we'll... Right, so, bump, bump, whiplash. Okay, it was the low. Bump, 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 right. And then this is launch punishable, right? So, launch that. Just to show that we can re uh, react to this. So we're gonna record the other one too. This is the mid. 
Oh, whoops. Not like that. Interestingly, she can't do a um, forward one. No! I did the low. Sorry. Okay. Get it right. One, one, three. All right. So just to show, these are... Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba. Snake Edge, right? We can react to that. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Snake Edge. Completely reactable. Just spend a minute staring at that, right? And you'll be able to see the Snake Edge every time. Uh, so that's that's pretty important. And then obviously if you block that Snake Edge, uh, you gotta launch before it. It's worth spending a minute looking at her move list. So this whole, um, you can see all of the options off that forward one, where she kind of leans forward and does the left punch. This is called whiplash combo, right? So here's the mid. Uh, and then she can, out of the mid kick, she can do a jab again and start the whole thing over. So some Asukas, I'm not saying any in particular, right? They'll do one, one, three, one, one, three, one, one, three, right? And that, she can loop that. Uh, certain Asukas that we may have seen like to do that, right? So let me show you a counterplay for King. There's the one, one, three. If you think they're gonna do the one, one, three, look at this, for King specifically. Kick parry. That's a left kick. Give me that leg. I'm not saying do that on reaction, but that's that is an option, right? Of course you're gonna get you're gonna get hit by the snake edge if you try that. So my my real honest option for that is see the snake edge and then launch it. Um just a couple more things. If you happen to block um this, that's pretty much unseeable. But that's launch punishable. Um, that's down one plus two. Uh, if you block it, this you're not realistically going to react to it. But if you do, it's launch punishable. The range is really short, but you can launch it. Um. Oh, uh, two more things and then and then we'll end the video. This is running a bit long. Um, so Asuka can do this string right here. So this is down back four. And then she can she can do it like I guess up to three times. And what you gotta do, you don't know how many low kicks she's gonna do. If you get hit by the first one, you wanna low parry it. If it counter hits you. If any of the low kicks counter hit you, you're gonna eat that. The Asuka's often use this as a as a keep out tool, but this is high. It's low high. So as long as you don't get counter hit, you can just duck. And if you think she's gonna do the high, you punish her for doing the high. You 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 know launch the high. Uh, the correct answer to this is low parry. The next hit. So. Uh, let's try this real quick. So we're gonna do, right, we'll do that. Right, so even if you get hit, low parry the next one. It's actually not so bad to just hold down back and then if she does, right, if the high comes out, So you won't, if you just hold back, you won't be launched by this. But if you crouch the high, bum, bum, you're golden, right? But the, the most, the best option here is, is low parry the second, second low. Uh, yeah, so that's the down back uh, four string. This is also in the move list. Uh, I believe this is under 
the leg cutter combo. There's a whole section on this, right? Yeah. Oh, and then she can cancel the leg cutter combo into, into white hair and dance. This is the last thing I want to talk about. So this is the white hair and dance string. Uh, this is very like kind of traditional, like old Kazama stuff that's been in the game for a billion years. June has this uh, exactly the same in Tag 2 in previous games. Uh, 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 uh. And Jin has it. It's it's a three ring circus for Devilgen. So let's uh, we'll record this real quick so she can do this is one plus four, and then if she does one plus four two, which is a high, so you could duck the high, and then you completely don't have to take the mix, but she can do one plus four two four, one plus four two two four. Right? Or she can do 1 plus 4 to Snake Edge. And again, you can see that Snake Edge on reaction. So we'll just set her to do both things, right? Uh, we'll find it. So we'll find uh, White Hair and Dance, and then White Hair and Lower Dance. So if you see, you can just see this. Right, you block the low every time. Launch her for it. And then what is the... Whoops. I'm waiting for the... Ah, he claims. <laughs> bump, 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 bump. Okay, so that's the mid is safe. Mid is safe. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, the mid is safe but the low is launch punishable. So you just want to react to the low if she's going to do that. Um, the low is a snake edge, it'll launch you. Um, and that's the same for Devil Jin as well. Uh, all right, so this video is getting kind of long. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this helps somebody. And these are some tips for how to play Asuka. Thank you for watching. Have a great evening.